The Yellowstone supervolcano is under a lot of strain and it's measurable, scientists say. Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles, the weekly column written by scientists and the collaborators of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, recently contributed from David Manson, Glenn Mattioli, geologist at UNAVCO in Boulder, Colorado. Yellowstone, as we know, is one of the 21 some odd supervolcanoes of the Earth. We all know what it's like to experience strain. The pressures of everyday life can leave you feeling contorted and stretched. And volcanoes, they said, are no different. They experience strain as well, and measuring that strain can help scientists understand the volcano's activity. Unlike you, when a volcano experiences strain, it contorts and stretches. The very stable change in shape of subsurface rock is called deformation, and it can be caused by a variety of forces, including changes in magma pressure or even the amount of water in the lakes on the surface. But how can you tell how much strain a volcano is experiencing? Well, it can be done, and fortunately the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory Consortium, including UNAVCO, is a member organization and uh, they are experts at measuring such a strain. UNAVCO is a nonprofit university governed consortium headquartered in Boulder, Colorado, and scientists there are responsible I'm for operating and maintaining equipment account. for measuring ground deformation daily posts are at Yellowstone daily throughout the Western totally United States. So what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Some of the tools used for this type of monitoring include GPS, the Global Positioning System, borehole tilt meters and borehole strain meters. Borehole strain meters are particularly sensitive to deformation of the ground surface and so have an important role to play in monitoring activity of Yellowstone. To detect strain within the subsurface, scientists measure the change in diameter or volume of the strain meter, an extremely sensitive instrument that is permanently grounded in a borehole. At Yellowstone, strain meters are installed from 100 to 250 meters, that's 328 to 820 feet below the surface. Borehole strain meters can detect changes on the order of four picometers, that's about one tenth million of the width of a human hair. You can imagine how sensitive these uh, strain meters are. One ten millionth of the width of a human hair? and smaller than the width of a hydrogen atom. Sometimes these tiny strain measurements yield big surprises. For example, Yellowstone strain meters are sensitive enough to record surface waves on Yellowstone Lake. And here's the surprising part. The strain meters are hundreds of feet deep and up to 12 and a half miles away from the lake. Yet these water waves can tell us something about Yellowstone's deep volcanic plumbing system. It's not that Yellowstone's magma affects the water waves directly, but rather that magma is uh, in the crust affects the way the waves are measured at the strain meters. The strain signal is larger than would be expected if the crust under Yellowstone were completely solid. Computer simulations show that a zone of magma under the caldera would amplify the wave motion and that's exactly what the measured what is measured by the strain meter these independent observations agree with other instruments at yellowstone like seismometers that indicate a zone of semi molten rock starting about 3 miles beneath the surface so the roof of the magma chamber is basically 3 miles down if we're walking around yellowstone now we say semi molten because the entire zone contains only between 5 and 15 percent liquid rock that occupies small pockets of space between solid rock. And these findings are no cause for alarm. The measurements and the models that are based on them are examples of how sensitive instruments located on and just below the Earth's surface are helping us learn more about the deep structures and secrets of Yellowstone and other volcanoes. And here you have, on the right side of the diagram you have Yellowstone Lake over the uh, uh, southeastern area of the caldera. 
This is by David Menson and Glenn Mattioli Unafco at Billings Gazette on Bennett Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.